find the roots of the following polynomial. So they give you a polynomial and they ask you to find uh, the roots. In order to find the roots, I need to be able to factor it because we need to leave the y equal to zero and we need to find the values of x. Remember, finding the roots are the same thing as finding the x-intercepts. We leave y equal to zero. And in order to factor, there's no common factor between each, either any of them. But I notice that there are one, two, three, four terms. So we are going to use a method called factor by grouping. First, what can I factor out of the first two? Is there a number that divides four and seven? No. Do they both have an x? Yes. I can factor, this one has three x's and this one has two. So I can factor out two of them. What do I need to multiply x squared to end up with 4x to the third will be just 4x. What do I need to multiply 4x to end up with 7x squared will be positive 7. From the second one, what can I factor out? One number divides 20 and also divides 35 will be 5. Since this is a negative 20, I can factor out a negative 5. And what's left behind? What do I need to multiply negative 5 to end up with negative 20 will be 4x. What do I need to multiply negative 5 to end up with a negative 35 will be a negative, no, will be positive 7. One of the things that you'll notice is when we're doing it by grouping, those two should be exactly the same. Otherwise, you will not be able to factor by grouping. And now we're going to group the x squared minus 5. And the 4x plus 7 gets written only once. And this is basically just using the distributive property backwards. If I was going to multiply this out, I'll multiply the x squared times in both, which is right here. And then I'll multiply the negative 5 times in both, which is right here. Now, I need to find the root. So therefore, I need to use my zero prop property, because it's equal to zero and solve each one. I'll place my 4x plus 7 equal to 0 over here. Move the 7 to the right becomes a negative. Divide by 4. So therefore, x is equal to negative 7 over 4. So negative 7 over 4. And my other one will be x squared minus 5 equal to 0. And I'm going to solve for x. I'm going to move the 5 to the right because it's a positive 5. I'm going to take the square root on both sides. So therefore, x is equal to, we can simplify the square root of 5, but we do have a plus or minus. So therefore, square root of 5 is right here, and negative 7 over 5, 7 over 4 is letter C. So your answer should be letter C.